She's the sweet talker, got a silver tongue. Better at persuading than a loaded gun. Sweet talker. Hey, Alex Cron here, keyboardist for Bad Baron. Uh, I, I thought I'd take a moment to tell you a little bit about the background and the story behind our debut single, Sweet Talker. Uh, I hope you've seen the video for it that we released uh, last week. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. I think Sweet Talker was uh, probably one of the first, if not the first song uh, that we created together. Uh, I remember I kind of came up with the, the bones of the song, the, the main lyrics and the melody, um, and then brought it to the other guys and, and they added all their bits. Um, we rehearsed it through a few times, uh, made a few tweaks here and there to really get that uh, the sound that we wanted, the 80s sound. And I guess what we were aiming for with this song was to have a real kind of fist in the air, melody sticking in your ear kind of 80s song. Um, not too slow, not, not really a ballad, uh, and not too fast either, not like a, a really speed uh, metal type of song. Um, just something that kind of appeals to everyone who loves a great song. Uh, I guess the story behind the lyrics, um, how can I put this? Um, so we all know that kind of person who can just kind of get you to do whatever they want just by talking to you and you want to do what, what they're asking you to do, um, although it's not asking, it's a sort of almost manipulation. Uh, and we all know someone like that and that's exactly the kind of person Sweet Talker is about. Uh, perhaps about meeting this kind of person on a night out uh, in a club or bar um, and then uh, just continuing your night the way they want to. Well, as I said, um, I, I came along with the bare bones of the song, with the lyrics uh, and the main chords, um, and then all the other guys added um, their kind of flair to it. So uh, Sammy put the drum beats on, um, Tommy put the, the guitar solo and kind of zhuzhed up the riffs a little bit, uh, and Lowry um, added the vocal flair and those super cool uh, 80s style backing vocals. Uh, I particularly love the part at the beginning where we've got the, uh, the chorus um, just coming in there, vocals on its own. Uh, that's such a, an 80s motif for me, um, and a thing that I think is really underused in music today. Because um, when you've got a great hook in the song, a great chorus, uh, you really want to bring that in right at the start. Uh, and not make people wait for 58 seconds until they get to hear it. Um, so, I, as I said, yeah, this was um, probably one of the first songs we, we wrote, um, and there's a lot of other songs written as well, um, but it was also one of the first we recorded, so um, I guess we, we must have done a, a demo version of first, like we tend to do for, for all our tracks, um, very rough kind of thing, just home recording and so on. And it really stood out from the other songs um, as one that would make a great first single, um, kind of introduce people to the Bad Baron sound um, and just has a really good hook. So um, we started, uh, after doing some more rehearsing, we developed that demo, um, then headed into the studio to do an actual recording. Um, we recorded here at a, a studio in Finland um, and then it was mixed um, in the UK um, at a studio I've worked with quite a few times before. Um, and yeah, and it came out with this really awesome sounding song. Um, I think it's got the, the real 80s vibe to it, um, as well as a bit of a, a modern sound in a way, just in terms of the production and mixing. My favorite part of the song, mm, that's a hard one. I've already said how much I love the, the vocal intro. Um, I'd almost like to put that on every song, um, but you don't want to overuse it. Um, been a bit of a music theory nerd myself. Um, I, I do love a bit in the, the pre-chorus where it does quite a nice key change um, that builds a bit more suspense going into the chorus. Um, so yeah, either one of those must be my favourite part in the song. Hmm. Difficult question. <clears throat> we did pick it in, in a way to, to introduce people to the Bad Baron sound. But knowing what all our other songs are like, I can't say that Sweet Talker alone sums up what we sound like. Um, we've got so many quite different sounding songs um, that all fit into a real Bad Baron theme. Um, you know, from kind of romantic piano ballads um, to some much more um, guitar-driven, heavier, faster songs. 
so while Sweet Talker doesn't necessarily sum up our sound, um, I think it does show what we kind of stand for, which is a great song that sticks in your head, great melody, great guitar solos, and a cool 80s style glam metal sound. Wow, uh, there's so much coming next. Um, we've actually got some, some other tracks recorded um, that you might get to hear soon. Um, we're working on so much. Could be an album, more videos, hopefully some shows at some point. And that's really what I'm excited to do, to be able to bring this music out live. Um, but who knows when that's going to be possible. All right, thanks so much for listening. You got a silver tongue, better at first